small town niggas, I got bigger dreams. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came up. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was real hesitant to make this video because right off the bat, like, people see the color of my skin and they're like, oh my God, you're white. Or if I was white, like, they'd be like, why are you making this video? Like, it's clearly a white dude that says, make America great again. We're not gonna get into politics. I don't rock with Donald Trump either, so at least we can come to terms on that. I'm actually mixed. I'm mixed, mixed with three things. I'm 25% African American. I know, surprise, right? I'm Irish, uh, Native American, and African American. My grandfather is, like, as black as my hoodie. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? I'm just keeping it real with y'all, you know what I'm saying? But y'all said I gotta watch this super serious, super like real, so we not gonna initiate the bangers today. I don't think I need to say eraser for the haters in this one, cause if y'all are talking shit in the comment section, then hey, that's on you. We here for the video, so. Full screen respect, baby, turn them all the way up. Do respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. Side note, Joyner is, Joyner always brings that fire, so uh, if we gotta turn up, we gonna turn up, but I feel like this is gonna be a different vibe from what we usually listen to on this channel, you know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> let's get it. That's the way I feel. Screaming black lives matter, all the black guys rather be dead beats to pay your bills. Mm. Yelling nigga this and nigga that. Call everybody. That's gonna get deep, deep. Nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react. Wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. Pound that day. Talking about slavery like you was around back then. Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like you was on the plantation getting down back then. Right. Look, I see a black man aiming his gun. But I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. Now I mean facts. I already let y'all know I'm part African American, so I, I really, I was really hesitant to make this video. I'm not gonna lie. Like normally, I jump in, I turn up, I say whatever the hell is on my mind, no filter. But this is like a serious topic, and I have no racial issues with anybody. I don't have any sexuality issues. If you're gay, like it don't matter. Like what, whatever your, whatever you choose to do with your life, that's on you. We got one life. Live it how you want to live it. I don't, I don't have anything against the next person. Whatever they want to do, that's their choice. Like who am I to judge what the fuck you do? Who am I to, uh, to label somebody based on past issues and all that? You know, what I'm, I'm saying we should all be coming together on some real shit and just continue to move forward continue to lift up the next person all this this criticizing and all this stereotyping like it's, it's pointless what is the point man it should all be based on vibes and if you're a good person then you should be acknowledged by other good people period but hey you still trapped in a rut the world ain't like that. my ass off and pay my taxes for what so you can keep living on free government assistance food stands for your children but you still trying to sell them for some weed and some liquor or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road because you ain't got no fucking goals you already late. You motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight. Wait. That's not all African American males or, or females or just a race as a whole. You can't label any race as a whole based on any certain circumstances. Baby as fuck. I don't know you why this. Sell drugs and get a job and be straight. And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate. Fuck out of my face. Mm. Can't escape problems. You can pray for some change, but can't break a dollar. Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. You fuck the world with a make America great condom. Mm. I'm not racist, and I never lied, but I think it's a disconnect the between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god, oh my god. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet, and that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you, then you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu, blame it on no drinks, blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges, blame it on white kids, and just blame it on white citizens, aim it the vice president. <laughs> Class. Really, it, what it comes down to is responsibility. Like, you got to take responsibility for your own actions. Every person is different, but if you fuck up, you got to pay the price, you know what I'm saying? The punishments that are dissed out for certain crimes are bullshit, in my opinion, like free meat. At the end of the day, it comes down to responsibility. Whatever route you choose to go down, that's on you. So you got to be willing to face the punishment. You can't just be willing to settle it and blame certain certain uh, people or certain circumstances for this, you doing this. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing things. Pants hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put your fucking pants up, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that dude. This is like real. I don't know how to like look at the screen. I can't bump. I'm not trying to bump my head. Like even when the beat go in, it's like this is uncomfortable to watch. Remix their positions. You know what I'm saying? Like let the let the African American man be in the the other man's uh, position. You know what I'm saying? Like give him a button up. Get him to sit him down and interrogate him like that. Like I'm sure the African American male could dish out just the same facts. As, as this dude's dishing out, you know what I'm saying? So this is like the farmer lookalike type dude. This is a farmer with the with the like not even a plaid button up, got the beard, got the got the make American great America great hat again, and it's just uncomfortable to watch. It's different. So this isn't like the the typical video I'll do, but I'm doing it because y'all wanted to see it. So. And then maybe police stop killing you. What the fuck? I'm not racist. 
It's like we're living in the same building but splitting the two floors I'm not racist But there's two sides of every story I wish that I knew yours Here we go I don't really like you white motherfuckers That's just where I'm at Screaming all lives matter is a protest To my protest, what kind of shit is that? And that's one war you'll never win The power in the word nigga is a different sin We shouldn't say it but we do And that's just what it is But that don't mean that you can say it just cause you got nigga friends True, nigga I don't even say the word. My grandparents is black, black. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even say it just because I feel uncomfortable saying that word. The B word, I don't say it often. That's why I bleep it out on this channel. And the N word, I don't rock with it. I just, I just don't. It's not comfortable for me. That word. I can't say I haven't said it before. Like if a song said, I'll probably say it, but I never put the R on it. The ER, the hard ah, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's ah, makes me cringe. I can't do it. It's just, there's so much crime and hate and just disgust behind that word that I just can't, I can't say it like that. It's just not for me. for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. When you use it, but ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with like if you if you're accustomed to saying that word and you are an African American or have like some African American deep down in you, say it to each other. Go ahead, but don't say it in a hateful manner. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't feel like Caucasian people should be able to say it like that. It's just not. It goes back to slavery days and just just so like I said, there's so much disgust behind the word that like not everybody can say that word. You know what I'm saying? Just not. It's not okay. Meaning under. It's crazy because it, it's a word, but it's not just a word. I'm not affected by the history. You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two. I know something about that. Let's flip the good. The soul food. You can't beat the soul food. You know what I'm saying? Step on no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool Aid. You don't know. Y'all remember them side note when you say Kool-Aid y'all remember the, the magic Kool-Aid though like everybody I, I love the, the the fruit punch Kool-Aid I love the grape Kool-Aid with the Kool-Aid man I still use those those water flavor packets in my in my thing just sugar free you know what I'm saying um got to keep trim but y'all remember those the magic Kool-Aids like the ones you would put in uh even if you didn't make like the, the pitcher out of the Kool-Aid you, you you know as a kid you like you got that sweet too so you put it in a glass like you fuck around all that sugar in one glass the magic Kool-Aid like the blue the blue tasting one like that was fire comment below if you remember the magic Kool-Aid and even though Barack was half as black, you hated President Obama, I know that's a fact. Mm -hmm. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back, and then you gave us Donald Trump, and that was payback for that. I'm not racist. I never lied, I but I know there's though. a disconnect between your culture and mine. Yeah, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god. He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died, nigga, die, nigga. And all you care about is money and power and being ugly, and that's the cracker within you. Hate it all in your brain, and slowly start to convince you, and you teach it to your children until the cycle continue. Blaming on Puerto Rico, blaming on OJ, blaming on everybody except for your own race, blaming on black responsibility. Niggas and blaming on black citizens, aiming the black people. Look, he's dishing it to him. Like he... but... How do you react? Even though he's white, he let us know he's standing with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops And I know if you about to die or not You worry about your life so you take mine I love you but I fucking hate you at the same time I wish we could trade shoes and we could change lives So we can understand each other more but that'll take time I'm not racist it's like we living in the same building, but splitting to both sides. I'm not racist. I hope they come together at the end of the video. But there's two the sides of every story, and now you know mine. Stand up, shake his hand. Real shit. Look, look, you can tell, like, he's sympathetic, and, like, you, you should both be sympathetic. Like, everybody is going through something. Everybody has their own issues to go through. Like, we ain't got time for all that. It's so petty, like, the shit that... It's, some of the things are not petty, like people getting killed, pe like people getting pulled over for no reason, people getting shot for no reason. Like there's so much bullshit in the world that like the petty things, the truly petty things, squash it, man. Like get to know each other. Like ask, ask a question. Don't just judge and label. Just ask the person what they're going through. Ask how you can help. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what it's about. At the end of the day, stop bullshitting. Can't Shake the next person's hand. Like if I see somebody in the street, if I'm going into a place, I'm always nodding my head, and smiling, like saying what's up. I don't know if that can make their day. I don't know if it, it, they might not rock with me even more because I said, hey, you know what I'm saying? They might think I'm being a smart ass. Cause, but genuinely, like, genuinely give a shit about other people. Period. That's all. That, that, be a good person. That's all it has. Like, at the end of the day, just wake up, breathe. You're alive. You got another chance. Be a good person. Use that chance to the fullest. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Caress the boobies, baby. Booby on booby action. I mean that with just, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like them. Not probably didn't. <laughs> Real shit. I don't care where you're from. I want to know what you're going through. I want to know how I can help. I should, if you can help me, help me. I ain't perfect. We were all humans until race disconnected us, religion separated us, politics divided us, and wealth classified us. Labels. Get rid of them. 
I'm not racist. That shit was... That was my most non litty two titties reaction I've ever had in my life, you know what I'm saying? Bang, bang, let me stop that thing. It was just, it's powerful, and I don't want to dive too much into it. It's already been a long video, but let me know your opinion below. Please don't talk about politics. I don't want to talk about politics, man. Just let me know, like, your... I don't know, let me know just that you're grateful to be alive, that you don't you don't care about all this bullshit side issues. And I know people gonna say there's gonna be like um you know white as Negro this blah 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 blah. Like I know people still gonna hate and, and troll and all that, but like it's so much more than that. Let's just bring positivity into the comments section. Whatever you wanna say, as long as it's got a positive vibe, drop it below. If you rock with this video, man, bang that thumbs up button below for joining Lucas. That shit was probably the most powerful video I have seen in the past couple years. Real talking. If y'all seen a more powerful one, let me know. Um, drop the link below, Snapchat me, all that sort of thing. But salute to them, man, for doing anything. Whoever's a part of that video process, the two people that was in the video, man, real shit. Big ups to them. I'm glad they hugged it out at the end. But we got to get better as people. In, in the real world, we got to get better. So. Hit that thumbs up button for yourself, for your boy, for coming to turn up with me. I don't like having these negative vibes, you know what I'm saying? There's this weird, awkward tension. I don't like it. But uh, anyways, if you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button down below. Tap that notification bell. So when we do turn up, from here on out, baby, turn up only, baby. Turn up a serenade sexual vibes. Hit that notification bell so you do see when that goes down. Uh, what else I want to say? Oh, and if you do share these videos with your family and friends, let them know ahead of time. Usually we get real raunchy, real dirty, and we don't give a fuck what society or YouTube has to say about it. Copyright, no copyright. Cut that check and not. Video still getting posted because I do this entertainment thing for y'all. I'm here for y'all. So wherever you at in this world, man, if you took time to watch this video, thank you. I'm grateful. Gibby Gang is growing every single day. So thank you. If you want to see how we really turn up, though, every single day behind this camera, we get Liddy two titties. Instagram and Snapchat. Add your boy right now. That's where I take it. Song request, video recommendations. So whip your phones out if you a real one. Boop, 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 boop. Get to add. We gotta get the vibes back up, man. The next song I react to, I gotta turn up for real, for real. Shake my ass or something. Alright man, that's enough time. I ain't talking about nothing though. Original link to this video will be listed below. So you go check it out for yourself. But for right now, D Gibby. Y'all like I got it on my hip Didn't bring a fuck, I forgot it in a whip nah. Met a bad chick cause I got her off the strip yeah. She talk about my dick cause she got it on her lips Got a few girls in the DM